Piccalilli is an English interpretation of South Asian pickles, a relish of chopped pickled vegetables and spices. Regional recipes vary considerably. Topic <inaudible> etymology. <inaudible> the Oxford English Dictionary traces the word to the middle of the 18th century, when, in 1758, Hannah Glass described how to make Paco Lilla or India pickle. An apparently earlier reference is in Anne Blenko's Receipt Book, written c. 1694, which has, To Pickle Lila, an Indian pickle, credited to Lord Kilmory. The more familiar form of the word appears in 1769, in Elizabeth Rafal's The Experienced English Housekeeper, as, To Make Indian Pickle, or Piccolillo. Richard Briggs, in his 1788 The English Art of Cookery, similarly calls it, Piccolillo. The spelling, Piccolilli can be seen in an advertisement in a 1799 edition of the Times. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> British Piccolilli. British Piccolilli contains various vegetables, invariably cauliflower, onion, and gherkin, and seasonings of mustard and turmeric. A more finely chopped variety, sandwich Piccolilli is also available from major British supermarkets. It is used as an accompaniment to foods such as sausages, bacon, eggs, toast, cheese, and tomatoes. It is similar to a sweet pickle such as Branston pickle, except it is tangier and slightly less sweet, colored bright yellow using turmeric rather than brown, and the chunks are larger. It is usually used to accompany a dish on a plate rather than as a bread spread. It is popular as a relish with cold meats such as ham and head cheese, and with a plowman's lunch. It is produced both commercially and domestically, being a traditional mainstay of women's institute and farmhouse product stalls. American Piccolilli In the northeastern United States, commercial piccolillis are made with a base of sweet peppers or green tomatoes. This style is somewhat similar to sweet pepper relish, with the piccolilli being distinguished by having a darker red or green color and, like British piccolilli, the chunks are larger and it is slightly sweeter. It is a popular topping on such foods as hamburgers and hot dogs. Traditional, British-style yellow piccolilli is also available. In the Midwestern United States, commercial piccolillis are based on finely chopped gherkins, bright green and on the sweet side, they are often used as a condiment for Chicago-style hot dogs. This style is sometimes called neon relish. In the southern United States, piccalilli is not commonly served. In its place, chow chow, a relish with a base of chopped green unripe tomatoes is offered. This relish may also include onions, bell peppers, cabbage, green beans and other vegetables. While not exactly similar to other piccalillis, chow chow is often called as such and the terms may be used interchangeably. Piccalilli is uncommon in the western United States. Surinamese piccolilli A far spicier variant of piccolilli comes from the former Dutch colony of Suriname, where traditional British piccolilli is mixed with a sambal made of garlic and yellow Madame Jeanette peppers. This piccolilli is often homemade but can also be bought in jars in Dutch corner shops. Whilst Surinamese piccolilli is similar in appearance to ordinary piccolilli, the taste is much spicier. Media references As a term for a mixed collection, Piccolilli lends its name to several books of poems, for example, Piccolilli, a mixture, by Gilbert Percy and Dilly Dilly Piccolilli, Poems for the Very Young by Myra Cohn Livingston. Mr. Piccolilli is the name of a character in the children's book Mr. Pod and Mr. Piccolilli 2005, by Penny Dolan, the semi-autobiographical book Vet in Harness published in North America as All Things Bright and Beautiful by James Harriet includes an amusing anecdote in which Harriet uses a particularly spicy piccolilli to help make an unsavory meal more palatable and avoid offending his well-meaning hosts. This story was also published by Reader's Digest magazine and several Harriet compilations under the title. The Piccolilli Saves My Bacon. Piccolilli receives an honorable mention in the Harry Champion song, 
a little bit of cucumber topic see also pickling process of preserving food by either anaerobic fermentation in brine or immersion in vinegar achar achar foods originating from the indian subcontinent pickled from certain varieties of vegetables and fruits <laughs>